My name is Todd Whitehead, and I'm a postdoc and an exposure scientist with the California Child Leukemia Study. One of the primary goals of our study is to identify environmental risk factors for childhood leukemia. We characterize environmental exposures in a number of ways, including questionnaires administered to participating parents, in-home environmental sampling, and the collection of blood and urine. My work has focused on measuring persistent chemicals in residential dust samples collected from the study homes. A dust sample from a typical home will be contaminated with a number of persistent chemicals, including pesticides, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, polychlorinated biphenyls, metals, and flame retardants. Of particular interest in the state of California is a class of chemicals called polybrominated diphenyl ethers, or PBDEs. These are flame retardants that were used in California extensively. The figure shows dust concentrations of two commonly used PBDEs from investigators from around the world. On the horizontal axis is the median concentration of BDE-99, and on the vertical axis is the median concentration of BDE-209 from each of the studies. What you can see is that the homes from North America, shown here in red, tend to have high levels of BDE-99. In particular, the homes from our study have extremely high levels of BDE-99 and BDE-209. Given the high levels of BD PBDEs in dust from California, we expect that the young children participating in our study will receive a relatively large portion of their total exposure to PBDEs through accidental ingestion of residential dust. Thus, we think that measuring PBDEs in residential dust will be an effective way of assessing exposure in our study. We can compare the chemical levels found in dust from households with children with leukemia to the chemical levels in dust from households with healthy controls, and if we see differences between the cases and the controls, we can infer that this particular chemical is a risk factor for childhood leukemia.